Okay, so this is going to be kind of a gameplay quick tutorial guide on how to get the true crown in Spelunky 2. It's fairly easy. Uh, getting the true crown boils down to three steps, and it's fairly easy to remember. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do in your run is find an altar, then blow up the altar. That's the first step. The second step is to meet Beg at the next altar you see. And then the last step is going to be uh, get cursed and find a third altar. One of the things to highlight about finding your third altar is the fact that uh, you don't have to be cursed upon finding um, the last altar to meet Beg. You can wait as long as you want. And the only thing limiting you from getting a true crown is the amount of altars on the seed from that point going forward. True crown is one of the most misunderstood items in Spelunky 2, and it's fairly uncommon as well. So, in most of my true crown runs, I tend to get cursed as soon as possible to then use the gist on pullback. And from that point, I just play either flawlessly or I just um, I just tend to wait it out because True Crown is an item that really transforms your run in a serious way and not to mention upon getting the True Crown you will get a free telepack. Most of the time people go jungle for True Crown uh, but it isn't required. Both areas end up killing Beg which is kind of a major issue with True Crown. So, whether you go Volcana or whether you go Jungle, it doesn't matter. Both areas have altars, and you're no more likely to find an altar in the next area uh, than you are in the other. So we met Beg for the second time, and now we're looking for a final altar. I didn't scout lower right, so I'm gonna do that. No Beg. Just going, 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 trying to look at as much level as we can. Again, this is fast. This is supposed to be fast and easy. Okay, third altar, we met Beg, we got the true crown. So again, just gonna do it for brevity. We're going to destroy the first altar that we see. That shop is pretty good. I could rob it, but I don't feel like it. Make sure to scout the entirety of the level as much as you can. Beg. I want the bombs from Beg. I don't think that I saw Curse Pot. So next level, we're just going to look for the Curse Pot. There it is. Fairly easy. Doesn't matter how much HP we lose. Jetpack is pretty good. I'll go jungle this time. It was not. No bag. Being very mindful of the enemies around me. This is black market. Bag is once again not here. True crown. Once more. And again, this is there's no editing other than the text at the start. 
This is just a showcase on how to get True Crown because, again, True Crown is not supposed to be hard. Even take Telepack this time. So, first altar. Second altar. Mm -mm. Woo! I'm alive. We're looking for Ghost Pot. Um, I'll go Volcano this time. Again, I would recommend... Okay, there's Ghost Pot. Um, I would recommend for beginner level players to really take the time, take their time, go a little bit slower. I'm playing willy-nilly. I've done this so many times. This, in my opinion, is the easiest way to get True Crown. What I'm doing right here, it's what we do for score runs. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. No bag. On to the next level. Sticky wicket. That's okay though. Again, I'm being thorough with how much I look at the levels, how much I go through them. That could have very easily have killed me. I need to check that room right there. No, Beg. Beg does make sounds. He makes uh, the splintering sounds of the wood, so you can pretty easily hear him, even if you're uh, a couple rooms away. If you were going deeper into this run, I'd probably grab Onk. This video is just demonstration, so I don't really feel the need. Again, you should feel pretty confident whenever you're playing Cursed. I died. That's okay. Just say it's unlucky and move on. Once again, I'll try to demo um, not being cursed and finding an altar. Additionally, as long as you talk to Beg, regardless of him disappearing, um, whether it's by damage from the player, damage from the environment, as long as you've talked to him on the second altar, he won't, uh, you won't fail the quest. Pretty low on HP. We didn't get a shop at first. Uh, okay. I can't exactly get first here, and I don't have my first altar, so I'm just gonna keep going. I actually want to go jungle, I think. Again, just looking for our first altar. There it is. I could have died from that. That was a little bit sloppy. I don't like this room in this config. It's never good. Okay. Again, even if we whip and beg, the quest counts as uh, still in progress. We haven't failed it. So we're going to look for third altar. Just to demo that it doesn't matter if you're cursed or not. It 
could be one over there. Again, just be sure to be thorough with your levels. Knowing what I do about this level, it only extends over there. Okay, so here's our third altar, and bag's missing. Some people reset here, you don't need to. Everything is fine. But what we are going to do is we're going to curse right here. There's a million and one ways to curse yourself. Um, I am not going to go over all of them in this video, but some of the ones that you can use are fall damage, uh, bombing, a bomb setup like that. Um, let's see, you could do the bone pile drop. Okay, so Beg died right here, but again, this only yeah, this this just shows the point that if you're cursed or if you're not cursed and you try to find the third altar, uh, Beg will show up the next time on an altar that you are cursed. Uh, yay. Woohoo. Yippee. True friend. Um, I think that that's enough. I think that that's plenty of demo runs. Um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm demoing this video type, just kind of putting my feet in the water to see if it's concise or um, appropriate or helpful, but uh, yeah.